Good morning, everyone. I have pleasure to be here today uh, to participate in the first international conference on advanced renewable energy systems to present the work entitled Enhanced Grid Interfaced Solar Water Pumping System Based on Sensorless PMSM Drive Using AMRAS. This work is realized by my students and presented by me, Abdelkrim Ammar, an associate professor at the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Bumerdas University. Then we start by presentation outlines. Firstly, we start by a problematic review and objectives. Then we move to the system configuration and modeling. Then we pass to the solar pumping system control. After that, we present our simulation results. Then we end with a conclusion. Nowadays, the photovoltaic energy became a very mature technology since it shows many features such as a high reliability, a long lasting and low noise uh, electricity generation and equipments. Therefore, one of uh, the promising applications of the photovoltaic energy is the photovoltaic water pumping system which has many different applications as shown here on the slide. However, and as a technology, the solar water pumping systems show some advantages and on the other side, they show some limits. On the advantages, they have a low operation cost, no pollution or noise produced, extended life system, a modular solution, which allows to extend the system in case of the need of extra power. On the other side, as limitations, the system always depends on the solar radiation. Sometimes we suffer from the component issues. In addition, maybe the system suffers from wasted and used energy when the pumping is not required. Therefore, this work presents a great interactive system that has high efficiency and different operation modes. The system proposed the PMSM motor in order to improve the system reliability and efficiency. Also, this work presents an improved sensorless vector control in order to reduce the cost and improve the reliability of the control system. Now, let's show the system configuration and modeling. The main elements of the water pumping photovoltaic system are the utility grid, an LCLC filter, voltage source converter that has a bidirectional power flow, PV generator with an MPPT boost converter, voltage source inverter that drive the PMSM motor. At the end, we have a PMSM motor coupled to the centrifugal pump. This system has different operations mode. The system can, can operate with uh, the PV generator that feed the pump. In case that we, we have a low irradiance, the utility grid can feed the pump in parallel with uh, the PV generator. Otherwise, we can uh, supply the pump only from the utility grid in case in case there is no irradiance also if the pumping is not required the pv generator can uh, inject the power to the grid the modeling of the different elements of the photovoltaic water pumping system we start by the pv cell the equivalent circuit of the pv cell is shown in the figure, we can see that the single, the single diode model is considered. The equations of this equivalent circuit are shown on the right side. In case to increase the total voltage, the cells must be connected in series. Also, in, in order to increase the current, the cells must be connected on parallel. Of the photovoltaic water pumping system is the DC DC boost converter. The main functions of the boost converter is to increase the level of the voltage, to apply the maximum power point tracking algorithm, and to maintain a constant DC link voltage. The next element is the voltage source inverter. The voltage source inverter is DC to AC converter that uses to drive the PMSM motor via a PWM uh, control. The two-level voltage source inverter has eight different switching states. Six are active and two are non-active states. So the different equations of the uh, voltage source inverter can be shown on the right side. The main element of the water pumping system, of course, is the motor. This, mo this table shows a comparison between different types of motors in order to justify the choice of the PMSM motor. 
Now we present the modeling of the PMSM motor based on the DQ modeling. We distinguish two types of the PMSM motor. We have the interior PMSM motor and the surface mounted uh, PMSM motor. In this work, we have chosen the surface mounted PMSM motor due to its simplicity. The, mo the mathematical model of the PMSM motor is shown in, on the following equation, where, where the, those equations show the voltage and mechanical equations of the PMSM motor. The last element of the water pumping system is the centrifugal pump, which will be coupled as a mechanical load to the motor. The different equations of the centrifugal pump are shown here on the right side of the slide. Part of this work is the control of the solar water pumping system. Different control algorithms must be applied to the different elements of the system. We start by the MPPT algorithm that must be applied on the boost converter. The sensorless vector control will be applied to the PMSM associated to the voltage source inverter. And the bidirectional power flow control must be applied to the voltage source converter in order to ensure a bidirectional power flow between the utility grid and the photovoltaic system. Maximum power point tracking. The MPPT algorithms are necessary in PV application because the MPP of solar panel varies with the weather conditions. The per chip and observe algorithm, it's sim simple iterative techniques. It does not require previous knowledge of the PV generator characteristics or the measurement of the solar intensity or the cell temperature, and it's easy to implement. The figure show the flow chart of the P and O algorithms. The slides show the field oriented control of the PMSM. It's widely known that the vector control is used to control an AC machine as a DC machine in order to offer coupling between different machine axes. Firstly, in this work, an indirect field-oriented control has been used. The reference, the reference speed is, is chosen according to the generated power of the photovoltaic system. Then this reference speed will be compared to the estimated speed using AMRAS estimator. And it will be controlled via a PI control in order to offer the reference torque. Then, two PI controllers that has been used in order to control the different current components in order to generate the reference voltage that will be modulated later using the PWM algorithm. The block diagram of AMRAS estimator is presented in the following figure. The AMRAS based on the comparison of two different models. The first model is the reference model, which is independent of the adaptive quantity, which is the rotor speed in this case. The second model is the adaptive or the adjustable uh, model, which depends to ad the adaptive quantity. The calculated error from the comparison of those two modules, it will be minimized using adaptive mechan adapt adaptation mechanism in order to estimate the adaptive quantity. Now let's move to the grid side power converter control. The grid side power converter will be controlled using VOC, voltage oriented control, which has the same principle of the field oriented control. However, here the active and reactive power which will be controlled. Using the, uh, the grid voltage oriented principle, we can deduce the direct relationship between the active and reactive power and the current components. Therefore, the active and reactive power will be controlled using the indirect voltage oriented control using current's components. The control diagram shows three PI controllers. The first one is for the outer loop that control the DC link voltage, where the two, P, the two inner PIs will control the direct and the quadratic current components in order to generate the voltage reference that will be modulated using the PWM units later. present the simulation and results of the photovoltaic water pumping system using MATLAB Simulink software. The simulation section will be divided into two phases. The first one is the solar water pumping system without the utility grid. Then the second case is the solar water pumping system with the utility grid. These slides show the PV array characteristics. In this work, a PV array with 10 modules connected in series is considered. The power versus voltage and the current versus voltage characteristics are shown as the following. The maximum power for the PV array is almost 2500 Watt. This slide shows the performance analysis of the AMRA speed estimator. The figure on the left side shows the estimated and the actual rotor speed quantities, while the figure in the right side shows the, the, uh, the actual and the estimated rotor position. We can deduce that the estimated speed is following the actual speed 
of the motor perfectly, the actual and the estimated rotor position are in superposition. The estimator provides a good estimation to the rotor speed and the position for a variable speed reference. Here we start by the first case without utility grid, which means that the PV array feeding the pump. The results on the right side shows the characteristics of the PMSM coupled to, to the pump, while the results on the left side show the characteristic of the PV array. We can see that the variable radius profile has been applied. Directly, we can see that the generated power of the PV array follows the variable irradiance profile. We can that the power shows some distortion due to the use of perturb and observe algorithm. However, the generated uh, DC voltage has been fixed to uh, 400 uh, volts. On the right side, we can see that the current and the rotor speed and the pump torque follows the variable uh, profile of the irradiance. We can conclude through the following table. We can see that the irradiance level change in each 0.5 seconds. The power of the PV array is affected by the change of the isolation level. The system is running at the maximum PV array power, whatever the radiance level. We can see also that the speed of the pump is changing following the change of the power of the PV array. Now let's move to the second case when both of the PV array and the utility grid are feeding the pump in case of the variable irradiance. The following results on the left side show the performance of the PV array, while the results on the right side showing the performance of the utility grid. So by applying a variable irradiance profile, we can see that the PV array uh, power is following the, uh, the decrease of the irradiance level. On the other side, we can see that the power here generated by the utility grid is increasing while the power generated by the PV is decreasing. So the power delivered by the utility grid is recovering the lost level of the power of the uh, PV array, while the DC bus voltage keep constants. Now let's show the performance of the PMSM drive and, and the pump. We can see here after using the utility grid, the estimated speed and the power show the continuity of the operation and the rated power of the motor. The motor torque and the pump torque waveforms proves that the total mechanical power of the motor is delivered to the pump. The table here illustrates the numerical values of the PV array power and the con contributed grid uh, power which power delivered after reducing uh, the irradiance level and the rotor speed. We can see that the rotor speed of the motor keeps constant whatever the irradiance level. This is due to the use of the utility grid. Conclusion. The grid interactive water pumping system can operate on different modes even though we presented only two cases on this work. The perceive and observe algorithm work perfectly to track the maximum power point with the variation in irradiance level. The AMRAS based estimator can give an accurate estimation of the motor speed for low and high speed levels. The field oriented control technique is useful for controlling the PMSM motor, while the voltage oriented control technique can give good performance to manage the bi directional power flow in the circuit. And thank you for your attention, and your questions are welcome.